You guys, when I heard Candace say this, I knew this would cause a stir. I knew people would say, oh, she's saying white men have the highest IQ, and that's why she married a white man. So baby, when you ready, hit my line. Tell me what you want to do. I know you still really do, do, do. Hey you guys, before we get into today's video, I just want to take time, as I always do, to thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. If you're not already currently subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button right now. Also, I do have another channel called Brandy Beer Review TV, and I am on Patreon.com. Navigate to the first comment pinned to the top to check that out. Also, like the video, you guys. Comment on the video. I want to hear your thoughts, so comment and like. Um, and now let's get into this juicy topic. In today's Celebrity Couple Toxic News, we've got lots to talk about, you guys. Candace Owens sat down with The Breakfast Club and she explains why she married a white husband. Giselle Bouchen has moved on and she's dating someone new, but rumor has it she started the relationship before finalizing divorce from Tom Brady. Plus, did Jennifer Hudson turn down marriage proposal to rapper Common? Giselle Bunchen has officially moved on from Tom Brady. She's dating jiu-jitsu trainer and owner Joachim Valenti, but she is being accused of cheating on Tom Brady with Joachim before the divorce was finalized, according to Today's.com. Giselle is refuting reports that she cheated on her ex-husband Tom Brady before their divorce. She says, I really don't want to make my life a tabloid. I don't want to open myself up like that. Joaquim is the owner of a jiu-jitsu academy in Miami where Giselle signed her son up for martial arts classes in 2021 and then she later enrolled herself. Now it seems Giselle and Joaquim met in 2021 and we know that Giselle and Tom announced their divorce in October 2022. Hmm, you guys, I don't know. I can see how people would accuse her of cheating because the timeline is very, very shady of when she met Joaquim and announcing her divorce to Tom. Here's how Giselle responded when asked about the cheating allegations. She says, this is something that happens to a lot of women who get blamed when they have the courage to leave an unhealthy relationship and are labeled as being unfaithful. She says they have to deal with their communities, they have to deal with their family. Of course, for me, it just happens to be a little bit amplified. You guys, Giselle's response seemed a bit on the defensive side, but I don't think Giselle cheated on Tom physically. Do I think she was attracted to Joe Kim when she first met him in 2021? Probably. Do I think they formed some sort of an emotional bond or connection? where she was probably telling him uh, her issues with Tom, probably. Do I think Joaquim was waiting on his opportunity to go in at Giselle once her divorce was finalized? Yes, of course. You guys, if Giselle formed some sort of an emotional bond with Joaquim, this is considered cheating. Even though they may not have engaged in any physical activity, um, if they ended up having late night chats, you know, tell me your problems, let me comfort you discussing them, then that's a problem. It's just very ironic that she met Joaquim in 2021 and now she's actually dating him after filing for a divorce. I don't know, it seems a bit suspicious, but I'm happy that Giselle has moved on. If Joaquim makes her happy, then kudos to them. She's met a man who is younger and also who doesn't have to travel for work. Now let's talk about Jennifer Hudson and Common. According to whatsthetea.com, Jennifer Hudson allegedly turned down Common's proposal and Common is not thrilled about her response. You guys, I don't know how true this is, but I could very much believe this. Sources can confirm though that Jay Hud is nervous about settling down with Common due to his Playboy past, according to Radar Online. 
Common is reportedly talking about settling down with Jennifer Hudson, but sources snitched the talk show host isn't as gung-ho on getting hitched because of the rapper's notorious reputation as a player. Hudson's own history of heartache is also said to be contributing to her apprehension. The love-struck bachelor who previously romanced tennis star Serena Williams singer Erica Badu, actress Taraji P. Henson, and comedian uh, Tiffany Haddish bragged, I feel like I have grown and the work that I've done on myself has allowed me to see that I am a marrying type. But insiders dished the never wed dream girls diva who is 42 has reservations about committing to her boo comment at 51. Here's how people are reacting to this news. Someone says she protecting her money Someone else says, he's wishy-washy, I respect her decision. Someone else says, good for her, I think she knows who he, who she is dating and it's not marriage material. A couple of others said this, good for you Jennifer, he got community ick, <laughs> he done been with everyone, date him and leave him. Someone else said, good for her, sometimes I feel like men such as him like going for successful women that have their head on straight like her to try and make an example out of her, to show he can get a woman of her caliber wrapped around his finger just to dump her and take her out of character, smart girl. Others said this, come on bro, she been through a lot and so have you, two damaged humans. Time will reveal where you both go with each other. Someone else said, this man played around with so many women feeling and now he's ready to settle down and this person said no. She sees something he doesn't think she does. Someone else said, she knows these men don't deserve her. Her baby father took her through after winning custody over their son and she said not. Guys, I agree with literally everyone. If this is indeed true, if Common really did propose to Jennifer and she said no, she's a smart woman at the end of the day she's putting herself first and it's giving she's not desperate to marry a man i mean we all know common has a past can men change and do men change for the right woman yes yes they do but what's the probability that common has truly changed his toxic ways probably not Okay, <laughs> I guess Jennifer said, no, not me, sir. Keep it moving. You won't break my heart. So good for her. Now, let's talk about Miss Candace Owens. Recently, Candace Owens sat down at the Breakfast Club, I believe her very first time interviewing over there, and she talked about her conservative views and how it has affected her with the black community. I really wanted to focus in on this discussion of why Candace married a white man, because y'all know that's why you know that's that's my thing on my channel but before we get into that let me just say this i like candace owens i don't agree with everything she says but candace makes a lot of sense most of the time and she's made very valid points it just baffles me how if a black person says they like candace owens then they're a coon or they want to hate you for liking her and if you like her, you're just wanting to look up to an articulate voice, black voice. And, you know, it's just really silly and getting really old. Anyways, during the Breakfast Club interview, Candace was questioned. She speaks a lot on the black family, but she married a white man. Candace said this, People tend to marry their IQ. I fell in love with my husband just because I think he's one of the most brilliant people ever. She said there was no other person she could have married because her husband can effortlessly dive into any subject. She continued, I want every person to never allow race to be a barrier to you finding love. Contrary to popular belief, she's dated black men before, she shared. She says the media tries to portray me as somebody who only liked white guys. Actually, if you want to be honest, I started off with a really strong Asian kick in my life. I thought I was going to marry an Asian man. My first boyfriend was Japanese and my second was Korean. I really loved Asian men. You guys, when I heard Candace say this, I knew this would cause a stir. I knew people would say, oh, she's saying white men have the highest IQ and that's why she married a white man. Now, what I heard Candace say is that she's a nerd and she also married a nerd. <laughs> Many black men will make the argument that black women tend to not go for the nerdy type of black man 
and that they desire black men with swag. Well, could we consider that black men may not have wanted to be with a young nerdy Candace and her white nerdy husband was a better fit? I think it's just as simple as that and people will of course try to spin what she said and try to make it something that it's not. I do like the fact that she said you shouldn't let race hold you back from hold, from finding love, which we all know many black women tend to do, but I heard the message loud and clear that Candace was sending, but I think people just don't want to understand her. It's just easier to bash her and call her a coon and just be negative. Again, I like Candace Owen. It was recently revealed that she's parted ways with the Daily Wire, but she'll be fine. Candace has a lot of supporters and she'll be just fine. Anyways, you guys, what did you think of today's celebrity couple toxic news? Do you think Giselle Bunchen was already well acquainted with Joaquim before her divorce to Tom? Do you think Common actually proposed to Jennifer and she turned him down? And do you think Candace Owens was trying to put down black men? Leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm creating for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.